Hey everyone, it's Teresa and I've got another fun video for you and it's a collab I'll tell you about it in a minute. We're starting off with one of these family round thingamajiggers from Dollar Tree. I'm going to go ahead and take off the family part as well as the paper. I, I didn't need to take it off, but I did anyways. I, I don't know. I don't know sometimes, guys. I just take stuff off for no reason. And I've got one of these wall stick on things that is really made for like a backsplash in your kitchen or, but we're going to use it on this instead. So we're going to just, uh, what's nice is that you can actually like stick it, unstick it a couple of times. You know, it's not, uh, you don't have to worry too terribly much about it not coming up. You know what I mean? So I went ahead and did a full coat of, uh, the Waverly chalk paint in plaster. And now I'll go in with my folk art antique wax. And I'm going to just bring out all of that like raised detail that are that are on that stick on tile and I mean as you can tell right now when you're looking at it you know on screen you can't see it too well until you add all that antique wax and next I am going to take a command strip uh, hook command hook I should say and I couldn't find the right size strip so I just cut one down <laughs> to make it fit and we're gonna do this a little differently we're not gonna put it up like like you would if you were trying to hook it on the wall, we're actually going to do it backwards. So see, like the hook is actually going to be facing the other side. You know what I mean? Like this little guy as actually moves back and forth. So see, that's how it normally would be if you're putting it on a wall, but this is going to hold our little jar. Um, this right here, I don't know why I seem to feel like I needed to make it way more complicated than it needed to be. But I basically I'm going to use this wired twine um, from Dollar Tree. And we're just going to kind of maneuver this thing around here. Like I said, I really made this way too complicated. Um, I'm going to put down some glue because the twine part kept kind of like coming off of the wire part. So um, I'm going to loop this around and tie it into some form of a knot, some kind of knot. We're going to call it a knot, even though it's really not a knot. Uh, my husband saw it and he's like, who taught you how to make a knot? I was like, shut your mouth. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I was playing around with it, trying to figure out what to do. And it just didn't end up working out right. And then next, we're going to go ahead and glue down the hook part on here because it kept coming up when I wanted to hook it onto the twine part. Uh, and now we're just going to go ahead and add in some of our twinkle lights. These are ones that do work on a remote or you can switch it on and off. So this way I can kind of get to it a lot easier and I'm going to take some more of that wired twine and I'm going to put it on the area that we wrapped around on the actual jar. Um, and this is where my knot tying skills is kind of, yeah, had I done, had I thought this through from the beginning that this is what I was going to do, I would have, you know, obviously made this little loop holding part of it. You know, I, I don't even know what I'm saying guys. Um, the part that's that I'm working on right now, I would have done this all at the same time as opposed to putting the twine around the jar and then looping this through. I would have just done it all in one go. And I figured I would leave my, you know, venture of on the struggle bus today for your entertainment purposes. Um, and what we'll do then is I'm going to just kind of find a way to connect this uh, if I remember right, yep, I put a popsicle stick on one side of it and then I just hot glued it to the glass, added some solar flowers and some greenery and there you go. Isn't it just pretty? So today is a collaboration with Rebecca Virginia DIY. Rebecca and I have been friends here on YouTube for a little while now, and we've never worked together directly other than maybe like some collabs here and there, but she is absolutely the sweetest person and she makes the cutest stuff. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. You're going to love her. If you've never heard of her, please go ahead and check out her video today that she's going to have. Check out her channel, subscribe, all that stuff. You're going to love her. Uh, if you haven't, uh, you know, been over there before, head on over at the end of my video. Tell her I said hi and that I sent you. All right, back into our DIYs. I have got one of these round cardboardy things from Dollar Tree. As you can tell, 
I really tried to get that paper off and it just did not work. Um, but I went ahead and just painted over it and it's got to kind of work with what we're doing. So I did my coat of the Waverly chalk paint in plaster, same as the last, as the first DIY. And now I've got my antique wax. Now on this one here, um, now you've got some of the paper particles on there that are kind of give you some lines. It's actually a good thing in this case. We're going to coat it pretty good with our antique wax and we're going to give this a faux wood look that's why those cracks from like where the paper kind of left it left on it's going to be okay because it's going to give us way more of a wood look uh and like i said i've done this before a few times um on my channel and it you just kind of work with whatever it is that you're doing this to you know like if you wanted a much darker wood you can obviously paint your background like instead of using a the plaster paint you can do a darker color I wouldn't go too crazy dark because in the antique wax isn't going to look like anything but if you wanted it to be lighter you could even um actually mix in like some white paint with your antique wax or they actually make a clear wax too so that is another option too and I'm really kind of just layering it on I want it to be really splotchy I want it to be very uneven because as you continue to build up your different coats, that is how you're going to get a different effect. You know what I mean? Like obviously if you look at like a real wood grain, it's got spots in it that are darker. It's got lines in it. It's got a lot of that different look to it. So that's kind of why I'm doing it this way. And see, like I've gotten my base coat down now and I'm going in and trying to make a couple of spots a little bit darker. I want to bring out a little bit more texture to it. You know what I mean? Like, see, I got one spot that like really gave way to a nice looking like knot, faux knot. <laughs> and, and you're just going to try to keep going kind of in the same direction. Like you don't want to get too, you know, you want to keep it like if you're going left to right, keep it that way. And see, here's the clear wax I was mentioning. Now I wanted to wear away some more spots, like some of the spots I wanted to take away some of the wax. And this is a good way to do it. Another way you can do is to use like a damp paper towel. Uh, I didn't want to do that today on this project just because I was afraid if I had too much dampness, I would end up with some wonky cardboard underneath. <laughs> so I'm like, well, let's just be safe. And I'm not going to do that. So like I said, you just take your clear wax and you just kind of start pulling up that wax you just keep working it and and you just kind of keep going like I said until you get like the general look that you wanted I wanted it to look a little bit worn as well you know just to give it a little bit of the same motif that I usually use so now we're going to use this stencil. This stencil was sent to me. I'm going to leave all the information for you down below. And they have a full Amazon store with stencils and the pillow covers. Um, if you've seen my videos before, especially with my patriotic video, I gave away uh, one of their pillow covers. And this is the same company and they're super, super sweet. You get this stuff from Amazon super fast. And I'm really, really pleased with how this stencil came out. There was only like one spot that I had to touch up. And that's mostly because I taped it down, um, you know, on the paper outside of this. I didn't want to tape down to the antique wax because I was really afraid it would pull it up. You know, the, paper, the, the tape, not at any fault to the stencil. So... I uh, just kind of touched it up just a little bit and we're good, you know. And next we are going to take a popsicle stick, uh, ignore all of the Velcro on there. I was trying to make this thing double-sided and it just didn't end up working out for me. This The one side um, that I did on the other side, I made like a tile look to it and it just didn't look right. Like it was too big. I had too small of a like Dollar Tree one that I did. It just didn't work out. I'm taking all of these gorgeous solo wood flowers and these ones are actually already dyed for me. And I'm going to lay down. I kind of started off with like one in one particular spot and then I put down a little bit of greenery and I'm going to just kind of keep going, basically making it the way I want it to look. I now in hindsight, I would have rathered it been a little bit longer. I might come back later and add in some flowers on the sides, but you know, it is, it is the way it is. <laughs> I, I do like having done this on the popsicle stick just because, you know, it's a lot easier to deal with, uh, you know, putting them on, taking them off really easily as opposed to putting it on the antique wax, because if you were to pull it up 
off of the antique wax, you might pull off some of the wax with it. You know what I mean? Like if you're trying to glue all the flowers down, making sure you got them in the right spot and, and all that. It's just sometimes it's easier to deal with it, you know, putting it down on something else that you can move around easier. If you have any idea what the heck I'm talking about. <laughs> so here's a pretty basic idea of it. And uh, like I said, at first I was going to put down some Velcro and I think I initially did. I can't remember if I show you that, but yeah, I think I initially put down the Velcro, but I ended up pulling it up and just putting down hot, um, you know, the hot glue to hold it on. And I added a bow and here it is. I think it turned out really pretty. I really love the faux wood look. So now I have this little wood house. I got that uh, blank house from Joann's. They have them on like between 50 and like 60, sometimes 70% off and a coupon. So you can get it at a pretty good price. And I've already done a coating of one of my favorite wood tents from Folk Art. It's the walnut wood tent. And now I'm just going to go in and distress it with, uh, oh, big surprise, Waverly chalk paint and plaster. <laughs> I'm just going through all of it giving it a nice dusting and I even taped off. It comes with like a, a twine, um, a twine hanger. So I taped it off just so I wouldn't go crazy with it, you know, and I even stained the backside just in case I decided to do something with it. And I really wanted things to be reversible on this project, but it, it just didn't end up that way. <laughs> um, but again, I'm just going to go through and have you watch, you know, like forever and a day's worth of me um, adding the white paint. They get the paint. They get the picture, Teresa. Move on. I'm going to move on in just a second, I think. Um, <laughs> so Oh, nope, we're doing some more. I'm gonna do the inside too. Uh, now you have a couple of options. I end up using a stencil on this one, or not a stencil, I lie. I end up using something from my Cricut that I printed off. I wanted to use those stencils, but they didn't fit in here and I could have cut it, but I didn't really wanna cut it. You know what I mean? Like I was like, I don't wanna mess up on my, my mess up my stencils that I just got. Um, and what I really wish I had done instead of what I'm doing right now, I wish I had made it to where I could have put down the stencil and then painted over it. So you'd still see the wood grain where the lettering is, but oh well, you know what it is. It's the way it goes, right? So I put down my home sweet home. Um, I will leave that. Uh, that's just off of Cricut Design Space. So if you go in and search home sweet home, you'll find that one pretty easy. And I don't know why, but the sticks we're calling my name. I really don't know why. <laughs> it's actually part of a um, like dried um, flower set from Dollar Tree. But I wanted to put down some of these sticks first instead of doing greenery. And like I said, I just don't know why it just they were calling my name. And now we are going to actually put in some more solo wood flowers. These things are gorgeous. These ones are just the natural ones. They're not dyed. You can dye them yourself uh, if you would like to. They sell dye uh, directly from solo wood flowers, or you can actually use paint. I've seen a couple of friends do that recently where they've just used acrylic paint to dye them. And I might give that a try. I still have a few left out of my pack that they sent me. so. I might give that a try. Uh, I really like, I have to say, out of all of them, my favorite size wise, I would probably say are the smaller ones because I definitely feel like you can do a lot with them. And see, I was trying to like be like all fancy and put it in the middle and you never know guys. It's just, like I said, the, you know, arranging flowers and putting them in places is really just dependent upon what you think looks best, how you like it. See, that one was too, they're, they were too tall. So I was like, okay, Teresa, just, just put the flower down. Just, you know, glue them together, add your glue, throw down your flowers. They're really, really easy to work with. So I highly recommend them if you're contemplating doing, uh, buying any, I really recommend them. They're really wonderful. Uh, I will have a link for you below if you want to shop their site. They're always doing really fun, um, discounts where they'll do like 60, 70% off. So definitely check it out. I, I, like I said, I can't say enough good things about them. I absolutely love them. And I cannot wait to get some more, um, you know, us YouTubers sometimes get, you know, some goodies sent to us and I might just have to go in and buy some of these myself because I like them that much. And, uh, not sponsored. They didn't pay me to say that. <laughs> they sent these flowers, but they didn't pay me to say that. So here's this project. It's all finished up, and we're going to go ahead and move on to our final project of this little set. I got these little wood pieces. Those are from Joann's. Um, they're really, really reasonably priced. I think it's like 
four bucks and then you get them 60 or 70 percent off and now we've got this little piece of that calendar blocky thing from Dollar Tree and this is just the house I went ahead and painted it if I remember right I think I painted the back side so there still has the front side maybe I'm lying I think I'm lying I tried to get the paper off it just didn't work out for me um, I do the and the antique wax right here over the plaster just like before just like the other ones and I'm just kind of keeping with that same like look of it and you see how nice my nails look this was actually a video I filmed after I went and got my nails done um, for a trip that I went out to uh, North Carolina and on the way I went to Savannah so if you haven't seen that video go check it out because I do have um, I have a video showing um, some of the stuff that I picked up when I was in Savannah definitely go check it out it's a lot of really fun stuff um, but so I'm gonna take this wood piece I decided just to leave it I didn't want to risk you know, like if, if I stained it or if I did the antique wax over it, I didn't want to risk losing all that beautiful detail. So I went ahead and just left it the way it was. I'm just going to put just a little bit of greenery and just one of the little flowers. Obviously, if you don't have the solo wood flowers, you can do this with, you know, any flower option that you have. I just thought it was a cute little touch, kind of tying everything in. You know, we like to do that sometimes, tying things all together. <laughs> And I do want to head, go ahead and make it to where I can have it stand up. So I add just one little tumbling tower block and you can see the disgusting mess that I made on the back. <laughs> and once we do that, it's all finished. It's just really cute, perfect little thing just to add in, you know, where you can't figure out where to put something. And don't forget to go check out Rebecca's channel and her video she's got for you today. It's going to be a lot of fun. She makes the cutest things. So make sure you check her video out. And don't forget, if you're new here to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.